Tim Mahoney is back with us tonight. We are going to talk about it's a new law that's protecting children online. Really? Correct. Yes. So, so now when you think about a new law protecting children online, you're initially going to think protecting their privacy, their safety. Uh, well, Illinois has now become uh, a maverick again and that we're one of the first states, the first state to pass a law protecting children in terms of income that yeah. they earn online. So let's go back, let's back up a little bit. So first of all, uh, minors cannot engage in contracts. That's one of the basic premises that you always have to deal with. And we also have child labor laws so that you're not supposed to put kids to work. So we have to deal with that particular type of thing. If you're old enough to remember Columbia House where you got 12 yes. records for one cent, those <laughs> contracts were not enforceable because they were engaged with a minor. So you could actually get out of all those contracts. Yeah. Well, what about child celebrities? Well, in California, we have this thing called the Coogan Laws and Coogan Accounts. And that comes out of Jackie Coogan, who was a child star in the 1930s. And imagine this, and, and if you ever saw um, Fester, um, okay. okay, that was Jackie Coogan, okay? That was a role that he did later on in life. When he was a child, he made $4 million what? in the 1930s. So think about how much money that is now. Whew. And it was all gone when he turned 18. So they created this law in 1939 in California called the Coogan Law. So any child that is an actor, number one, can engage in contracts. And number two, their parent or guardian has to create this Coogan account, a trust account. And whomever they are employed by has to pay 15% of their money into that trust account. Okay. And then there's lots of fights about the other money, which, which uh, we saw with Cully McCaukin, with his parents, which was a terrible thing. Well, this law is patterned after that because there are a lot of parents who are using their kids to make money online and yeah. TikTok and other things, and there's nothing set up for the kids to get any of the money. And uh, also, what happens to the videos when they turn 18? So sure. this was started by a 16-year-old uh, down in the Peoria area who sent a letter to her congressperson, state congressperson, who then picked up the baton and ran, and Illinois has passed this law. So essentially, it says a couple of things. Number one, if you're under 16 and you're in 30 plus percent of the videos, then you are entitled to 15% of the money and the parent is supposed to set the money aside and put it into a child trust account or a child uh, only account uh, in the state of Illinois for you to get when you turn 18. Okay. Secondly, you then get exclusive control and dominion over the videos when you turn 18 so you can order that they be taken down okay. if you don't want them up. So it's a, it's a great law and it's cutting edge. We're the first state to do something like this. Now it's not, it, it's a mandatory law, but there is no supervisory committee that does this. So it's, it's a voluntary thing where you're supposed to report to the Department of Labor that in fact you're doing this, yada, okay. yada, yada. I deal with this when I represent children who have either been involved in a wreck or their parent was involved in a wreck. So like if their parent was killed in a wreck and so I'm representing the estate and the money goes to the kids, uh -huh. then we have to put the money in an account in the kid's name and it has to have this certification in the account that no, no money can be taken out without court order. And the kids can get their own attorney and, and have to have their own attorney that has to approve the settlement. So there's a system in place to deal with that money so the parents don't just liquidate it and say things like, well, what would be in the best interest of my kid is if I get a new Escalade because then they'll be <laughs> <Yeah>. safe, <laughs> which happens, right? Which right. we see happen. So what this does at this point is it, it creates a cause of action for the children if they turn 18 and the money's not there. They can turn around and sue okay. the parents. But the other thing that they could do is they could ask for an attorney now to make sure that in fact that's the happening. Can. The kids can. The kids could go to court and say, I want the court to appoint a guardian ad litem. I want my own attorney. That's just Latin for my own attorney. Sure. Lawyers speak Latin so nobody knows what we're talking about. <laughs> so I, I want an attorney for myself to make sure that this is happening, that this money is being placed into an account for my benefit that my parents or guardian cannot touch until I turn 18 and, and then I get to make sure all that money happens. So it creates this cause of action, which didn't exist before. Sure. So a, a, a great law and a yeah. great thing in Illinois, again, like on the cutting edge. It yeah. is. It's it nice is. to talk about something like that. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever have any questions about something like this or something else uh, in the law field, Tim Mahoney can help you out. Mahoney's got your back.com. Thanks so much for coming in. Always my pleasure. Back to school, we continue next with the Fresh Prince of Love's Park, and then we're getting you ready for the Rockford Rivets Legends game. We'll be right back. The preceding portion of Good